In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Evernote Web Clipper. So here we are at the socialmediaexaminer.com, and I really like their articles. Um, one thing is for sure, there's a lot going on on this page. As you can see, stuff in the sidebar, stuff up above. Uh, so I'm going to find an article that interests me. So how to manage Facebook groups, eight management tools. I come over here and there's just a lot going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the web clipper. Okay, so our menu pops up over here on the right. And we'll notice we're giving these choices, article, simplified article, full page, bookmark, and screenshot. What I love is, first of all, I'm going to find the notebook where I want to send it. So I'm going to send this to my general business notebook called jenlaner.com and I'm going to go ahead and add my tag now and since this is about Facebook I'm going to type in Facebook and groups and Facebook groups. We'll talk more about tagging in a little while. The next thing I'm going to do is choose simplified article. Now look what happens. All of that stuff on the right and the left has completely disappeared. And we're left with just the good stuff from the article. So I'm going to make sure that my title is good. And now I'll click Save. So let's go over to Evernote and see how that looks. And there it is. Now using that same article, what we're going to do this time is we're going to use Web Clipper to grab a screenshot. So let's say there's just one particular part of this that I want to capture. So now I'm going to click Web Clipper, Screenshot, and then notice it gives us these crosshairs. So this allows us to, we're just going to press on our trackpad or our mouse and drag. We're going to drag the area that we want and then we're going to release. Now watch. Look over to the right and you'll see this annotating software that we can use, or I should say annotating tool that we can use to mark up this screenshot. Some of the things I use the most are right here where I can write words. I can block out sensitive information or personal information with this pixelating tool. We've got a highlighter here a magic marker here, one of these things that is a fun little doohickey if you want to bring attention to something in a document like sign here or look at this. We can draw an arrow or some other sort of shape. I use this all the time. We can crop. So then, just like before, I would save it, tag it, make sure it's in the right notebook. Another thing that you can do is click your web clipper and choose full page. What's going to happen is you are going to get the full web page that, you, that you've landed on and that will get stored onto a note. Even though, yes, it is this long, it will get stored onto the note, but it's also going to include all these comments and all this stuff down at the footer as well. One thing that I think is pretty confusing, at least it took me a while to find this, when you screenshot something, okay, so let's screenshot this, and you mark it up. When you're done with it, and after you save it, you need to actually click into the note, and if you want to use this in a presentation or whatever, you hover right here, and you'll see Teeny Weeny is this little icon that shows you that you can download this. So just click that and download it and it's yours to use however you'd like. 